Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. I love beauty and makeup, especially eyeshadow. I also do declutters, rankings, reviews, hauls, stuff like that. So if you like that kind of content, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so today's video is going to be my makeup brush collection and declutter. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. I did. Can't wait for 2024. I have so much planned for my channel. So yes, I am deciding to do this video just because I did get new brushes for Christmas. Just because I want to get rid of some of my brushes that I'm just not using anymore and some of them are quite a bit old so they're not performing as well so that's why I'm also doing this video so let's go ahead and get started okay so as you have seen in the intro I am doing my makeup brush collection and declutter I just want to say happy new year to everybody also so I am super excited for the new year. I have lots of videos planned, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with these BH Cosmetic brushes I have. Um, so I will tell you, I'm definitely keeping this one right here. I do use this quite a bit. I use it mostly for bronzer and I really do, no. I don't use this for bronzer. I use this for setting powder and I really, really enjoy this brush. Amazing quality. It does such a good job. So I will definitely be keeping this makeup brush. Next, we have this brush from BH Cosmetics. They don't really say the names. They just say one or two. The one I just showed you was number one. This is number two. I honestly don't use this brush. Um, I, I really haven't used this brush. To be honest, I don't even think I've used it at all. And I think it's time just to declutter it, like I said in my intro, which I'm going to be doing my intro after this video, so I hope I don't miss anything. But as I said in my intro, I'm, I just got new brushes and I have been, I really just want to downsize my brush collection just because I feel like I don't need so many brushes. I do have quite a bit of brushes and like I said, I'm just trying to downsize. And I have never used this, so I think it's time to declutter it. I'm not saying it's a bad brush. I really do like my BH Cosmetic brushes. But this one, I just don't use, so I think it's time for me to go ahead and say goodbye. Then we have this brush from BH Cosmetics, and this is number four. Um, I do like this brush, to be honest. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I don't really use it as much, but it is super good brush, so I am going to go ahead and decide to keep this one. Then we have this one, which is in six, and I use this one a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, so I will definitely be keeping this brush. And then we have this one in number 10. Um... This might be a maybe, just because I did get new brushes, as I said. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a maybe. Because I do like thinner brushes like this, with the bristles like this. But I think I have ones that I just got that might be a little better quality. I mean, these are really good quality, but at the same time, I don't need so many brushes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the maybe pile. Then we have these BH Cosmetic brushes. And this one is number two. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and put this one also in the maybe pile. Just because I really, like I said, I love these brushes. They're very smooth. Um, yeah, I like them. But I do have newer brushes. So this is going to go ahead and go in the maybe pile. Then we have this one in number one. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I do not need this one at all. I will say that I have not used it at all, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Then we have this one in number three, and I really like this one. I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I do like it for just touch-ups, so yeah. Then we have this one from BH Cosmetics, and it's in number four. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I've never used this one, and I, 
I, like I said, I got newer brushes and I don't think I'm going to need this one. Then we have this one in number six. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I really, really like this for my lower lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this brush. Then we have this one in eight and I use this all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and definitely keep this brush. Then we have this one in number nine, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I have not used it. It is a little funky, I think because like I might have shaped it wrong or maybe it's shaped like that. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Then we have this one in number 13. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I just like when I do liner, I really like something thin and this brush is super, super good for this. Then we have this one in number 14 really really nice i'm gonna go ahead and also keep this one and then we have this one in number 12 and i really like this one also so i'm gonna go ahead and keep this one okay then we have these ones from bh cosmetics also and i'm not gonna lie these ones i don't really like i feel like it's really scratchy so i think i'm gonna get rid of all of these this one is in number seven although actually i will keep this one i do like this one this is in number three, really, really good for shimmers. Then we have this one in number one. I really don't use this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Then we have this one in number six. I used to use this all the time, but I just found better brushes. And like I said, I just feel like my brushes, some of them are getting really worn down. And I'm pretty sure this one's getting worn down, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And then we have this one in number eight, and I hardly use this one, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it also. Then we have these brushes. I'm hoping I'm in frame, everybody. If I'm not, I do apologize. From Bestope. Bestope. So, yes. Okay, so we have this one. They actually do not have any names or anything whatsoever, so I do apologize but i'm getting rid of this one i have never used it i don't see a point of using it so yes then we have this one don't ever use it these brushes they're okay but yeah i don't use it so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it don't ever use this one I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it um i do i have i used to use this a lot but i don't really use it anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it i will keep this one though I will say I really do like this one for highlighter, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Then we have this one. I do like this one also for shimmers, so I'll go ahead and keep this one also. Then we have this one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Don't really need it anymore. Then we have this one. Um, This one's like a maybe. Actually, no. It's going to be a declutter. I, I don't know. I don't really need it. Then we have this one, never use, gonna go ahead and declutter. Then we have this one. I am gonna go ahead and keep this one. I'm actually gonna keep all three of these ones just because they're really, really thin and I really like thin brushes and I don't have many. And if I do, I like a variety. I like to change up. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these three though. And then here we have like one-offs slash brands I know I'm going to get rid of because I don't ever use, except for this one. Actually, this one is, um, it's like a three-in-one and I really like this to travel with. So I'm going to definitely be keeping this and it's, I honestly don't remember where this is from. I do apologize. I don't, there's no label on it and I don't remember. It was like a gift from last Christmas. So I do apologize, but I really like this one. So I'm definitely keeping it. Then we have this one from Mini Base for, for delicious looks. I don't need it. Well, you know what? Actually, I am going to keep this. I did like it when I used it, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Then we have these ones from Real Technique. And I hate these brushes. Now, I'm not saying I hate the brand because I've had some really good, like, experience with the brand. But these brushes themselves, the set I got, not good at all. This is one for smudge. And this is one for shading. And these are just super, super scratchy. I do not like them at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. Then we have this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got this when I got those palettes, which I did declutter. And I don't really need these, to be honest. They're 
they're okay, but I don't really need them. I have better brushes, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this, as well as this one, too. And I have two Urban Decay brushes. So I'm on a fence about this. Because I'm not going to lie, these are actually really nice brushes. Now, they did come in palettes. I didn't buy them separately. But I really do like them. Now, I do have two of the same. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and keep them just in case if I need brushes to travel with and I'm very limited on space because they have the bigger side and then they have the smaller side. So it's really nice to have that. And plus they're really good quality brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. And then we have this Profusion brush that I got in a palette. And honestly, right now it's falling apart. As you see, like I can just twist this off. Like, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I actually think I'm just going to go ahead and throw this one away. It was nice. It is a nice brush, but it's just annoying because it's breaking. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this. And then we have two brushes from... I'm not so sure. Jasmine Beauty, I think. I'm thinking it's called Jasmine Beauty. Don't quote me on it. Can't really read it. But we have an angle brush and a deal tail brush. These are actually super, super nice. I just got them too when I was subscribed to Ipsy slash Boxy Charm. I'm not now. Just letting you know, I stopped that. So, yes. But these are really nice, and I'm going to go ahead and keep them. Okay, and then I have this brush, Beauty For Real. I could have swore I had two brushes from this brand, but I'm only finding one. But I just got this also in the Boxy Charm. Haven't used it yet. And it's really, really nice. It's really fluffy. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Then we have these ones from... I'm not going to lie. I really can't read this. So I do apologize. But these are also newer brushes. And I do like them. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them. Then we have these from El El Eloise. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I do apologize. I like these brushes, but I'm not so sure because I was going to keep them originally, but looking at them, I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep them. I'm going to go ahead and keep them. They are super nice. Okay, so these were in the maybe pile right here, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these ones and then keep these ones. Just so I feel a little better about decluttering some things. I mean, I'm not trying to declutter to declutter, but I just really don't need so many brushes. So this was in the maybe. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these and then keep these three. And I'm going to tell you from now on, here from now on, I have ColourPop and Sigma and those all those brushes are going to stay. So I just want to let you know I'm not decluttering any of those. So here we have is the ColourPop. I just recently got these and I love them so much. They're super, super good. As you see, I have not cleaned my brushes yet. I do apologize about that. But I love these brushes. So let's go ahead and go through them. We have the E4. These are just super soft. I just, I love these. So not getting rid of them. Then we have E18. Super, super nice. Then we have E21. And actually, this is about the same size as I just got rid of that 1BH brush. So I feel pretty good about decluttering that one. But I mean, like the BH one, not this one. I want to clarify, sorry. Then we have this one in E17. Super, super nice. Love this brush. Then we have E16. Really, really nice. Definitely going to keep. And then we have this one in e6 haven't used it yet but i like a good angle brush so definitely going to go ahead and keep it and then lastly we have my sigma brushes and i just got new ones literally just got a whole new pack for christmas so let's go ahead and look over them well not look over them let me just show you because this is also a collection video so yes so we have this one in large e 40. It's for large angled contour. Definitely keeping. I love Sigma brushes. So let's just do a little flashback or, you know, back in the past. 
So I got the Alice in Wonderland Sigma palette and this brush came with it. And I used this palette and let me tell you, that's why I fell in love with Sigma brushes. Was after I used this, I love the brushes. So that's why I have quite a bit of Sigma brushes and I asked for Sigma brushes this Christmas. So that's why this is the culprit of all of that. But yeah, just wanna let you know. Definitely keeping this. So yeah, we have this brush. Then we have this one, it's for a large powder, it's EF30. Then we have this one for Duo Fibri, Fibri um, F50, really, really nice. Then we have this one in F60, it's for foundation. Then we have this one for eye shading and E55. Then we have this one in E32 exact blend. Then we have this one for it's E60 larger large shader. Then we have F70 for concealer. Then we have E34 doomed utility. Then we have E40 tapered blending. Then we have E44 Firm Blender. Then we have E05 for eyeliner. It's this one right here. Then we have the E30, the pencil brush. Then we have E65, small angle. And then lastly, we have E70, the medium angled shading. So that is all my brushes. it will probably be a shorter video. I do apologize, but I have quite a bit more videos coming up. So yes, so let me go ahead and show you what I decluttered. These might not all be in frame, but I do apologize now. But this is all the brushes I'm decluttering. I feel pretty good about myself, to be honest. So, yes. So, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will be back with a lot more videos. Till then, stay beautiful, stay healthy, and stay safe. Bye.